Konnichiwa, and welcome to the 41st podcast of the NC Rowan County Anime Group. My name is Robert Clown. I am the president of this club, co-president of this club, excuse me. Uh, a long time ago, I was at a convention called Magnus Opus Con, number uh, six. And one of the guests there was the actor John Levine, who played Sergeant Benton in Doctor Who. I had a friend with me at the time, and during the panel he goes up and my friend asks John Levine this question. What do you do when you make a mistake? Uh, John Levine looks at him and he says, cover it up with a bigger mistake. And why I'm talking about mistakes in this particular podcast is because I've been making a few recently and I need to correct the mistakes and sorry for them. Uh, during my podcast of the Magic Knights of Ray Earth that I did, I recently found out I was wrong about the anniversary. It is not the 30th anniversary, it's the 15th anniversary of the Magic Knights of Ray Earth. Uh, during another podcast that I did, I said a saying, uh, uh, Filmation, I said Funimation, and that was another mistake that I made uh, when I was doing Valdix, uh that is put out by uh, Funimation. Also, too, I, during the podcast where really I was really rushed for it, I should have taken my time and slowed down. When I was filming the display at the Rowan Polk Library, I was having camera difficulties and stuff. And instead of saying July, I ended up saying June's meeting. And that is also, too, another mistake. I admit, I am only human. And I'm going to make mistakes or, you know, and it's okay if you write me and say, well, hey, you made a mistake here. That's the nice thing. You can always go back and rebuttal stuff and say, okay, or, you know, not rebuttal, but I'll make a correction and say, okay, I made an honest error, and it was honest. So that type of mistakes I don't mind. Also, too, I have a tad of tendency. I have something on my mind, and it slipped out of my mind, and I have to go and, like, fill in something. Like in when I did my review of Lea Cheval de Deon, there is a beautiful garden scene of the uh, gardens of Basai in Lea Cheval de Deon. And my mind during that time just slipped and I forgot the, the, you know, what the name of that garden was that was so beautifully illustrated in that anime. So please forgive me. Like I said, I'm not even an actor. I'm just a common person trying to do his best to pass out what little bit of information I hope that can be useful and to you to the public and on these podcasts now after getting all this said and done let me move on this anime right here is called license by royalty if you're a fan let's say of the British science fiction uh, British not science fiction it's British uh, spy series well it's been listening to the science fiction series uh, the Avengers you want to check this uh, nice little uh, anime out. This is two detectives uh, or secret servant agents of R and L and they are and this is called Licensed by Royalty. It's put out by Jenny on the proper age limit is sixteen up uh, by the box. And I can understand why they would say this. This next anime we had quite a problem at our at one of our meetings because I had actually picked up the fan sub and the fan sub calls it Earth Girl Ajuna. Well one of our members said well if you look at the symbols that's Earth Virgin Ajuna. And then one other girl one other member said well the correct box should say Earth uh, Maiden Ajuna. So Bandai put out Earth Maiden Ajuna. And this series right here is a biomedical a biomental story. It is set up for the age of 13 up. And my opinion is it should be put up a little bit higher than that, about 14. But this was done by the same guy who wrote Outlaw Star. And this is a uh, biomental story. And it's very interesting. Um, if you, It goes into a lot of Hindu and stuff, uh, beliefs about, you know, letting the body naturally heal itself and everything. Uh, I think that's more Hindu than it is uh, Japanese. But it's a very interesting series. And 
uh, the animation is done nicely. The music is done wonderfully. Uh, Yoko Kondo, uh who worked on, I think she, I think the first one I ever heard her was in uh, Cowboy Bebop. She did the uh, music score for this series, and it's beautifully music. I mean, the music nice. Uh, she also worked on the Visions of Escaflone. Uh, Please Save My Earth as far as music and let's see there's one more that could come into my mind that she um, She did I'm just oh, rats uh, Aquarion uh, Heroes of the future. That's another one that she did uh, uh, That she wrote now Let me move on a bit more one person wrote me recently and asked me Robert when was the first time you ever saw Kendo? well I didn't see Kendo in an anime. The first time I saw Kendo was in a science fiction series, Space 1999. And I do read, you know, books and stuff. I do have this nice little Space 1999 uh, paperback book that I picked up for a quarter hmm, uh, at a nice little store. Also, too, I read the fandom, too. And that's another wonderful character that's been, actually had an animated series uh, at one time on channel 46 up here in uh, North Carolina. Now there's a series and I have seen it uh, over in England had it uh, brought over here in which we have two different types of systems so I had to have it converted um, but I, I also enjoy watching Doom Watch. Now this is the book uh, Mutant 59 The Plastic Eaters and it's a novel of the uh, episode and there is a difference between the episode of the live-action British science fiction series and uh, this this novel here. But I have seen episodes of Doom Watch, and that's from, that's a show that's over in England. Also, too, I am also a fan of Flash Gordon. Have been ever since uh, the 1970s. Buster Crowd to me is the definitive Flash Gordon, as my late mentor Sam Granger used to say. Also, too, I enjoy Albert Hitchcock. I actually read this book when I was a little boy. It's called The Green Ghost. Uh, and it's very well done. Albert did just a wonderful job writing this book. And I'm kind of glad that I was able to pick it up at a used bookstore for about um, a quarter. Because I, I read this when I was a young lad, back, I guess, when I was in the fifth grade. Well, I hope that you're doing well today. And we will be meeting on July 17th in front of the Books A Million at 5 o'clock at 5.30 we'll go over to a person's home to watch the great teacher Onizuka. The 24th FYE is having a special anime day at 2 o'clock and Oriabaku is the last weekend of July which is a cultural festival free and open to the public. Highly recommend if, to go to any of these events. They'll be worthwhile. This is Robert Clyde Allen wishing you a very nice day. Goodbye.